Hello and welcome to Southview Acura. My name is Maher and today in the service drive through bay I have a 2014 Acura RDX Tech. This silver all-wheel drive SUV is a fresh trade and we are ready to take it on a test drive. Let's take a quick look at the features on the front before we take a look inside. You got high intensity discharge lighting next to your daytime running lamps and turn signals. Quick feature to note is that on your mirrors you have signal light repeaters which is really good for increasing visibility as you're driving on the roads. Fog lights towards the very bottom of that bumper and a block heater horde just tucked underneath out of sight and out of mind. We're going to come a little closer to the tires. These are Michelin 19 inch all seasons mounted on alloy rims. You've got disc brake systems on all four of those tires. Let's take a quick look at those. So that's a good look from the side. This vehicle has a keyless entry system. Now with the remote control in hand, hitting the button once will unlock the driver door while twice will unlock all four for your passengers. Before we hop inside, let's take a quick peek. So on the door, controls for your power windows, power doors, and of course, memory driver settings. And those are your leather seats. Of course, they are power adjustable, but I do want to point out you got a nice sunroof up there. We're going to hop inside, get down to it. Let's see what this vehicle has to offer. All right, here we are inside. I did start this vehicle up, so let's take a quick look at the mileage. Now, it's telling us to change the keyless remote battery. It's nice that this has a warning indication. We'll certainly take care of that in the service department before this vehicle hits the lot. Uh, 35,000 kilometers, though. A great low mileage vehicle for a 2014 unit. Let's take a quick look at the features and controls. Down here, power tail lift gate, of course, you can use that to open and close. And then uh, this button down in the middle is your stability control. For steering wheel mounted controls, the left hand side, volume up, volume down, and media selection to cycle through what you're listening to. And then if your phone is connected with Bluetooth, these are your hands free communications and then voice commands. On the right hand side of the wheel, these are your cruise controls and then a set of buttons down here which will control the center menu. Now, as you can see, it's saying change remote, but you can cycle through. There's a whole bunch of other menu options, vehicle status monitors, choices yours to take a look at what you want to listen to, or excuse me, what you want to see. Now, this screen, let's turn it on. This is, accept the warnings, adjust the brightness. There you go. You have a navigation unit in this vehicle. It's a multimedia display, so not only will it give you turn-by-turn -turn directions for your navigation and show you what you're listening to, if you're uh, going to display media, and it's going to show you caller ID if your phone is connected, but best of all, shift into reverse, and there you go. A backup camera with multiple modes. Take a look at a couple different angles. The video doesn't do it justice, but three different angles to get a good view of what your vehicle is around. Now, shifting into drive or park, go straight back to what you had previously displayed. Really cool function. Moving down though, media system. You've got AM, FM, satellite, Sirius XM radio, um, audio inputs such as 3.5 millimeter and a USB, or you can have Bluetooth streaming audio if your phone is connected and you have music on your phone. Underneath all that, this knob, that's what's going to control the center thing. Couple buttons, those are just how you choose what you want to display and how you want to adjust the settings. This right here, climate control center, dual zone climate, which is really great for the driver and passenger if you're on a long road trip. Each set your own temperature, have your own comfort zone. But if it's just you driving and no one else is there, hitting this button here will sync both to what you have set as your temperature. And of course your controls to control your fan speed and everything. Underneath here, power outlet to charge your devices, auxiliary input, and a small USB cable at lead. Just before we take a look at center console, heated seats on the driver and passenger side. A little hard to see, but one additional power outlet in there. And last but not least, you gotta take a look at the glove compartment. User manuals are being stored in there. Let's go take a look at what the back has to offer. Your passengers in the back are certainly not forgotten, so take a look. You've got power window controls on the door. Bear with me on the lighting, I know it's hard to see, but spacious seating for three or two with a cup holder. This center console, no, you can't see because of the light, but that does pop up. And then you do have spacious seating for three passengers if you do want to use that. This vehicle has split seat design, so with one handed operation, you can put some of the seats down and control how many passengers you have and then how much cargo you carry. I'm going to open up the rear hatch but leave the seat down. 
we're gonna show you how much additional room you do get and take a look at the back. Getting into the rear hatch is no problem at all. Underneath that logo, small button, it releases right up. So as you can see on the right hand side, I did leave that side up. This is how much space you would normally get, but if you wanted to use a 60-40 split seat design, you have quite an additional space. A lot of room if you wanted to put some flat back furniture from Ikea, whatever the case may be, a lot of storage. Now, if you wanted to do this all from the back, small handles, one-handed operation, push those seats right down. Speaker system back here, anchor points if you want to secure your cargo. And then last but not least, you've got a spare tire. Everyone needs a spare tire if they're going to go on a nice road trip. This vehicle has your tools, all your jack, and everything stored under there. Closing up the hatch is simple. One-handed operation makes it easy for me to walk away. Reposition that shot. And then thank you guys for watching the video. Now, if you have any other questions or you want to take it on a test drive, call, click, or visit us today. We'll get in touch with the product advisor, take you on a test drive, and they'll certainly answer any more questions you have to ask. Thanks for watching.